Shalom. Welcome to this week's Tavar Torah. And this Shabbos, we're reading the Parsha of Yaakel and the Parsha, the Sedra of Pekudim. As a teacher, and a teacher, not just a teacher myself, but a teacher who is the son of a teacher and a grandson of a teacher, we're three generations here, no saying annoys me more than, and you know this one, those that can do, do, and those that can't, teach. The saying aims to degrade teachers as unproductive, me- unproductive members of society who, faced with the failures in their chosen field of expertise, are just simply forced to teach. As a teacher, I'm obviously biased in this area, but I have a strong feeling that it was a failing 7th grade troublemaker who made up this line and first uttered it under his breath on the way to the principal's office. Obviously, the Torah takes a different perspective from our 7th grade wise guy. In this Torah, Torah, I'll highlight the craft that we call pedagogy. I'll explain that rather than a second-rate profession, teaching can only be done by those who are both knowledge and sufficiently talented that they can give their knowledge over to others. To prove my point, I'll quote a pasuk from our Sedra and a comment that by the Ibn Ezra that point to teaching as a rare skill. I hope the reader gains an appreciation of teaching from our Sedra. We've all experienced the frustration of being instructed or by given by or given direction by someone who didn't know what they were talking about. We've also had one too many experiences where someone pontificated about a subject that they were anything but proficient in. Sitting with a knowledgeable person lends the opposite experience. Instead of the frustration of an ignorant person, we are uplifted by the upper expertise of the scholar. The first quality of a teacher is the mastery of an area. It is this knowledge that we rise for and that demands our respect. The absent-minded professor is a comical character, yet he or she might very well have been your very, be- your very best teacher, both a master of their field and they have the ability to, to give over their, their information. Walking into their classroom, you were ignorant, yet when you left, you were invigorated by new knowledge. That new knowledge can never have been had without the professor's ability to translate his or her expertise to you. More than someone lacking skills, our professor is an expert at allowing the layman to gain knowledge. In our sedra, Hashem explains why he chose B'Tzalel to build the Mishkan, the tabernacle. Hashem said, B'Tzalel is filled with wisdom, understanding, and a spirit of God. But a few psukim later, Hashem said, he has given B'Tzalel the ability to teach. The Ibn Ezra explains that many are able to master knowledge, but few have the gift to be able to teach other people. Hashem praises B'Tzalel with both. And I'd like to to posit that this shows that those that can do aren't as special as those that can teach. Teachers are a rare breed. Choosing to forego wealth, they dedicate their lives to inspiring others. In his last day of the Union Address, President Obama challenged the members of Congress to protect teachers. And he said, there isn't anyone in this chamber that's life hasn't been changed or transformed by a teacher. Teachers do change lives. And they do so by practicing an art not easily mastered. I'd venture to say, those that can inspire and educate teach. And those that can't, well, they don't. Shabbat Shalom.